Hi, I'm John Cole, our Chief Naturalist for the Geauga Park District, and I am exploring one of my favorite parks today. It's Whitlam Woods. It's 200 acres. It's located in Chardon Township, and uh, it's a beautiful hidden gem in Geauga County. So I highly recommend that you come out and check out this beautiful park. I thought today what we could focus on is some of the common trees that you can find not only here at Whitlam Woods but at really any of our parks. So we're going to really focus on identifying trees today by their bark, not by the leaves because as you can see behind me and all around me there's no leaves on the trees quite yet. So we'll take a look at the bark and maybe a little bit of the buds on some of the common trees that you can find in your Geauga parks. Wow, this is an awesome tree. This is a red maple tree, a real common tree that we find in the woods here in Geauga County. Has a, if you look at the bark, it's pretty scaly. You know, that bark kind of shreds off a little bit. It's kind of silvery in color. And as you look up the tree, you'll notice that the tree becomes more smooth up towards the top. You really see that silver color up there. This is a very good tree to know in Geauga County, very common, along with the sugar maples, but it's good to know your maples for sure. Here's a tree that's very easy to identify in our Geauga County woodlands. This is a black cherry tree. If you look at the bark, it looks like burnt cornflakes are pasted all over the tree. BC, black cherry, burnt cornflakes, easy to remember this tree. This is a good tree to know for sure. This is the tallest growing tree in the state of Ohio. Anybody have a guess as to what that is? If you guess tulip, you are correct. Look at those deep grooves on the bark of this tree. Those grooves are also known as furrows, and um, they can be pretty deep in there, pretty, pretty uh, substantial. And if you notice at the bottom of the furrows and in the, in the lower part of the furrows, there's white. That's a good way to distinguish the tulip tree. And also, right here in my hands, I have I found on the ground the seeds from the tulip tree. In the wintertime, the seeds are dispersed on many species of trees, so these are tulip tree seeds. I'm going to plant them. Looks like the trails are a little bit muddy today, but it's springtime. So if you don't get a little bit of mud on your shoes and on your clothes, then you're just not really out experiencing nature. That's just my opinion. Next up, we have a tree that you must know, my friends. Any one of our parks here in Geauga County has this tree for sure. This tree with the very shaggy looking bark on it, no, it's not sick. That tree is completely healthy. If you guessed shag bark hickory, you are correct. Very easy to identify this tree because of that shaggy bark and uh, definitely a good one to know. Now, as you're hiking along the trails here at Whitlam Woods, you'll see that the forest gets to be more mature towards the back end of the property. I'm walking through a very mature forest right here, and the trees are just astoundingly big back here at this end of the property. So if you want to see some big trees, come to Whitlam Woods, because I'm telling you, there's some big ones here. Is this an elephant leg in the woods? No, my friends. If you guessed American beech, you are correct. This is a very easy tree to identify. Most other trees that you find in the woods don't have a real smooth bark like the American beech. Yes, there are some big trees here. This is a red oak tree, and it is gigantic, isn't it? 
gray bark, real narrow, not very deep furrows. It has like, it almost looks like it has racing stripes going up and down the tree. So when I see racing stripes on a tree, I think red oak. Next up, we have the sugar maple. Yes, this tree is responsible for most of our maple syrup production in Geauga County. It has a 2% sugar content. So basically what that means is it takes roughly 40 or so, 43 gallons of sap to make one gallon of maple syrup. The evergreen trees that you see along the trails at Whitlam Woods, most of them in the, the deep shaded ravines of Whitlam Woods, Woods are um, eastern hemlock trees, a very beautiful tree found in the shaded ravines of Geauga County. Well, we've come to the end of our tree hike here at beautiful Whitlam Woods. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about the common trees that you can find in virtually any one of our parks. And hopefully you are inspired to get outside and see how many of the trees that you learned today that you can find out in our beautiful Geauga County parks. Have a groovy day.